Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Bear One Another's Burdens. Also, this scene comes from point blank. Let your mind go. I don't care. Do it. Do it. Do it. I got you, baby. Look at me. Stay with me. You're okay, man. Look at me. You're okay. You just bleed a little bit, right? He's lost a lot. There's nothing I can do. You can't go. ain't going. No, man. You ain't going. Right? You ain't going anywhere. Look, look at me. You're fine, man. You're fine. You're going anywhere. I can't feel anything. touching scene extremely touching Slakia Galatians 6 and 2 bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Mashiach. So the law of Mashiach is instructing us to be there for one another. Point blank period. All right. We are a brotherhood. We work together. We consist of Lord willing. We are the hopeful elect. We consist within the body of Yahweh Shah. All right. So although, you know, we have to work out our own salvation. At the same time frame, we have brothers going through the same thing. OK. So it's extremely important. You know, we utilize the brotherhood and not abuse the brotherhood. OK. First Peter 5 and 9, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. 
right. And that helps with our individualized journey, okay? Because at the same time frame, we understand that our life is customized for each particular brother, but at the same time frame, you know, brothers are going through something as well as you. Sometimes the same afflictions, sometimes different afflictions. However, you know, we are not alone. Okay, and that's the reason why the brotherhood is extremely important because it's a spiritual and physical support system. Ecclesiastes 4 and 8, there is one alone and there is not a second. Yea, he hath neither child nor brother, yet is there no end of all his labor. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches, neither saith he, for whom do I labor and bereave my soul of good? This is also vanity, yea, it is a sore travail. And the reason why this is a sore travail is because this particular person is alone. Verse 9, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Lord willing, the kingdom of heaven for us. Verse 10, for if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth. For he have not another to help him up. Right. So this is the importance of the brotherhood. Yeah, of course you need your solitude time, but everything has to be in balance. Verse 11, again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? Verse 12, and if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. So what is this implying? That there are strength in numbers. Ecclesiasticus 7 and 35, be not slow to visit the sick. For that shall make thee to be beloved. Right. So when a brother is sick, all right, you go visit that brother. Okay? We are instructed to, to be there for one another. Going back into Galatians 6 and 2, bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Mashiach. This is a requirement of the law of Mashiach. Mark. One and twenty nine. And forwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they enter into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and and on they tell him of her verse 31 and he referring to Yahweh came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and immediately the fever loved her and she ministered unto him going back into Galatians 6 and 2 Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Mashiach. All right. So, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Shalom.